Data virtualization allows Prologis to be fast and nimble in our analytics. Prologis is the global leader of industrial real estate. We specialize in logistics real estate, serving the needs of customers who move goods in and out of our warehouses. The biggest problem behind advanced analytics is that 80% of the time of analytics is spent cleansing, analyzing, and massaging data to then focus on that 20% of actually running a math model to get the answer. So as we wanted to solve for that problem, we wanted to eliminate that waste, that, that upfront work that's needed. That's where we leverage Denoto. So as we began to get into advanced analytics projects, we wanted to allow data scientists to focus on what they do best, solving problems with math models. We wanted them to use the languages that they're most comfortable with. So whether that's Python or that's R, we didn't want to force them into a language so that we could get what we wanted, which was standardization and the ability to productionalize their work. So we leveraged Jupyter as a notebook solution for the data scientists to talk their native language. And we consumed our canonical models, those building blocks of analytics, into Jupyter so that when data scientists got started, they were using data that was trusted, well-documented, well-understood. And then the products of those models, we wanted to get back into Denoto, back into our analytics stack, so that consuming the products of those models didn't become a big exercise and we had to think solve for every single model. It was the standard way we knew how to use Denoto. We would bring that data back in and expose it to solutions like Tableau or ODBC, JDBC consumers that could take those outputs and start using them and tying them back to enterprise data to show that big picture, the complete answer. Our in initial advanced analytics use case was one around how can we optimize the cost of our raw building materials. We leverage advanced analytics and math models to help us optimize that should cost of raw material goods. That resulted in being able to know exactly what the rates should be, the seasonality of when we should buy, optimizing the whole development process and reducing costs along the way. And how Denoto helped fuel that solution was that these models could be run on demand anytime, right again through a Denoto interface that would call the model, analyze and churn the data, and give us the results which we could present to the users. The thing that was really appealing about Denoto was the fact that underneath the covers, everything Denoto does is SQL based. We didn't have to retrain our staff. We didn't have to retool. We simply had to learn a variant of SQL, but at its core, it was still SQL. The other part that we needed to address was in the historical world, everything started with an ETL process, bringing data into one place so that you could start connecting data from your operations system, your ERP system, your HR system. Denoto allowed us to connect all those systems together without investing time into development and then equip business analysts and developers alike with the ability to join that data and do analysis without having to learn a separate language. As we begin to equip our warehouses with Internet of Things devices, sensors, different kinds of devices that monitor we want to bring that data into one place. And Denoto will allow us to also start having a data lake that is in its rawest form in a database, but the curation, the business logic, the association of what a sensor, a device is telling us to the data that lives in our core source systems, we'll be able to stitch that together in that one pane of glass as if it was another system that was SQL enabled.